placement. Thank you. Where's the placement points at? See, the tournament structure that that Fortnite has. Oh, okay, we're going to clip this video. Okay, here we go. The main problem that Headshot has with the Fortnite tournament structure and the Fortnite competitive scene, besides seeing Zayt retire, besides seeing Zexro retire, besides seeing FaZe Dubs step down, besides seeing Ninja step down, besides seeing Courage and Dr. Lupo take their time away saying that, you know, they just don't have time to fit that game into their schedule. It's video games, bro. Relax. Your schedule isn't that complicated to play. I, I'm not doing a dang thing but looking at Pokemon cards and playing Fortnite. This ain't rocket science, bruh. This ain't NASA. I went to college and graduated college and I'm doing free analy analytics, diagnostics, and uh, cybersecurity and algorithms for free. Okay, you can have some time to figure out how to fix the competitive scene if you're a broadcaster, if you're in contact with pro players, bringing pro players with the Epic Games stats to fix this type of system. This system favors cheating, it favors cheating because it's encouraging high kill games. So when you have high kill games, the higher points you have, the better chance you have of winning. So if there's now there's something called soft aim. Never in my wildest dreams have I heard of more hacks come from computer PC pro players than I've heard from their streams than I've ever played on console, PlayStation, or Xbox. I never hear these hacks from console controller players. I never hear Sway. I never hear Wavy Jacobs. I never hear guys like Aiden talk about soft aim. Double movement, key binds, electric tape. Never heard of it until I go to these pro players, PC streamers. Okay? These streamers, these pro players, stop with your hacks and your cheats. Because you, the system is favoring high kill wins. So those guys are going to get on Discord for 15 hours with soft aim, with NVIDIA cheats, all you name it, and they're going to grind to get that $900 cash cut payouts. My Pokemon collection, Flareon, is worth more money than half of these bragging right tournaments they have in competition servers right now. You could literally bid Flareon, and that will, be, and that will literally be top three prize it's unbelievable how inconsistent unbalanced these formats are that favors cheaters with no monetization of income after this is only this night the one time thing only so you don't get residuals not, you, you get paid for this tournament that's it okay so you're going to go all in, cash tournament, whatever it is. I don't even know if this is even a cash tournament because it's bragging rights. Let's just go to a cash tournament. I don't even think that's a cash tournament. Let's go to cash cup. Prizes and rewards, $1,800. So we got 18, 14, 13, 1200. Dude, you literally giving me. An exclusive set of Pokemon cards for $1,800 as the number one for the competition. For the pro. You can't be serious. All right. Let's go to the format. $1,800, my guy. All right. So two gets 14, three gets 13, four gets 12, five gets one, top 10, top 25. So that means 25th place. 600 so top 20 so everybody in the top 20 gets 6 to 75 now this puts they opened up the prize pools to top 25 to get $600 but you can't be serious with a with with $1800 nah yo fam kim k wipes her ass with $1800 just with spandex skims is going skims Spandex collection 
He smurf it. <laughs> this is dog. Yo, I can't believe I'm street. I can't believe Epic Games can't pay me for Black Panther and you guys give them an $1,800 cash cup.